George Carlin is probably the first biggest influence. Um, he wasn't the first comic that I came into. Pause. <laughs> Crazy. You beat me to that. Crazy. <laughs> He's not the first comic I discovered. I hit the subscribe, hit the like, leave comments, do all that good shit if you enjoy what you do. Uh, and if you enjoy what we do, yeah, I'm getting better at it, but I'm not, I still kind of don't care. We're not begging over here, my nigga. Do what you want to do, but you know, do the thing, hit the button. I don't get, but I do, but I don't, nah, I don't, but actually, uh, obviously we have to talk about this George Carlin shit. Mm -hmm. Um, George Carlin, an absolute legend in the game of comedy. Uh, R.I.P. One of again, yo, it's so weird how of my of my five top influences in comedy, four of them now in the last like four weeks have been in the mainstream yeah. news. And th here's the proof. Here's again one of those pieces. George Carlin has been hanging on my wall, just like the Bernie Mac one, just like the Patrice one, just like the Chappelle one, just like the Andy Kaufman one. Like for for over a decade now. George Carlin is probably the first major. Let me get this back on the wall. Let me get this back on the wall. All right. Is it straight? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, George Carlin is probably the first biggest influence. Um, he wasn't the first comic that I came into. Pause. <laughs> Crazy. You beat me to Crazy. that Crazy. <laughs> He's not the first comic I discovered. Man, <laughs> fuck Cam and Mace, bruh. What did they hey, do? Yo. Oh, man. <laughs> Shit. Yo, man. <laughs> Damn, I take a hella pause, man. Uh, it's a pause-a-thon, dog. Uh, <laughs> George Collin, like, George, George Collin wasn't the first comedian that I discovered. Um, if anything, that's probably Martin Lawrence or Eddie Griffin in terms of actual straight up stand up comedy. First comedy I was watching was like Three Stooges, Charlie Chaplin, shit like this. Uh, but in terms of stand up, when I was a young, young kid, it was either Eddie Griffin, Message in a Hat, or Martin Lawrence from the show Martin to his stand up special, then like Jamie Foxx and all that shit. But I remember being like 10, watching George Carlin, and like, it was almost like my life had shifted. I don't know why I've always gravitated to me. Well, I guess my life experiences have been very intense. Uh, I've, I've been through a lot of uh, aggressive shit in life. So it's given me kind of more of a philosophical perspective. I've mm -hmm. always been like this. I've always been a deep thinker since I was a kid and all that shit. So Carlin completely just connected with me and <laughs> oddly enough maybe it made me too cynical and shit as a kid you know because i'm i was a kid fucking talking about <laughs> like new world order like <laughs> it was t it was too much but at the same time it wasn't bro like he was just so profound and he was the first guy that i discovered that was seamless it didn't seem like he was doing anything you know and and even his style because I, I discovered Carlin in his older age, mm -hmm. as I was younger. But as I became a comedy fan, I would go back and watch all his old specials and stuff. Like, his older stuff is way different in terms of delivery and all that stuff. He's kind of, he's been political for a long time, but he kind of went more storyteller towards the end of his career. And that's the stuff that's probably most known. Um, like... America's one big secret club and you're not in it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in it. But like, it's just, it's even hard for me to articulate exactly how profound like this, this white nigga was. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that guy's, yo, George Carlin was a nigga. I, I don't give a fuck. That was a black man in, in that man's body. Uh, Pause. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Kevin Mace, man. <laughs> so, if you don't know, I don't even don't even put this on the screen. I'm not gonna promote it. We're gonna talk about it. I don't even want to say the name of it. Okay. As a comedian, this goes against my core ethic. But there is an AI generated 
one hour George Carlin comedy special floating around the internet. If you are interested to see it, I gave you enough information. That's all you have to do. You'll find it. It's out there. Um, there's apparently some podcast where these guys use an AI and the AI is a comedy fan, whatever the fuck that means. And the AI watched all of George Carlin's specials. Like at, in the beginning of this, I didn't even watch the whole special. I tried to, I got through maybe five to 10 minutes and I just wanted to punch my TV. Uh, like it was good in terms of what they were trying to accomplish. It sounds like George Carlin. The jokes are delivered like George Carlin. The the material is very much in line with George Carlin's material, but it's not George Carlin. It's some fucking... And when I was scrubbing through the comments, the people that watched the podcast were saying that they're theorizing that um, it sounds like one of the guys from the podcast was writing the jokes because I think because uh, the podcast has some comedians. comedian guys okay. in it, so people are theorizing that they actually wrote the jokes in the style of George Carlin, which a lot of comedians are fans of George Carlin. Yeah, so they probably would and like if you know him well enough and you're a good writer, you can write in that style. You're not him, but you yeah. can like mimic it. Yeah, and then just feed it. Man, I gotta blow my nose. People must really think I do coke. <laughs> <laughs> uh just feed the lines to an AI voice and yep. then have the voice read it. That's what people are theorizing. But either way you slice it, it was a one hour thing. I don't even call it a special. It's not special. It's I'll call it a non-special. It was just a video. It was just a video. It had a bunch of AI generated like art to go over the audio. It it's impressive. Yes. This is it, it doesn't replace art. It doesn't freak me out. I, I was with somebody the other day when I first heard the news, and I, I was like, oh, my God, it's over, da, 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 da. And they're like, bro, don't freak out. It's not. And I didn't actually mean it. But, like, in a way, it's already over anyways. But art is not dead. This isn't a real person that did this. This isn't Carlin that did this. Mm -hmm. If anything, can you pull up his daughter's um, uh, response to the special? Cause that I'll actually give his daughter some fucking, I'll give her some airtime. She's actually worth it. Uh, and what she said was really interesting and and I think uh, necessary. I need you to be faster, by the way. Do you want? Just fucking around. Just fucking around. Turn it to what? Do you want an article or do you want like? The no, I just want the tweet. The tweet. I need you to be faster, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Gestapo in this bitch. Work faster! <laughs> You're not doing this fast enough! Uh, <laughs> nigga, I hate you. You I'm ruined looking. this podcast. <laughs> We're re restarting this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't say I hate you. That's so intense. You know I don't. I know. Oh, go here fuck we go. Yourself. <laughs> I'm the worst. <laughs> All right. This is the statement from Kelly Carlin, uh, George's daughter. This is one of three. Okay, so I'll read the whole thing. My statement regarding the AI generated George Carlin special. My dad spent a lifetime perfecting his craft from his very human life, brain, and imagination. No machine will ever replace his genius. These AI generated products are clever attempts at trying to recreate a mind that will never exist again. Let's let the artist's work speak for itself. Humans are so afraid of the void that we can't let what has fallen into it stay there. That's a that's bars. That is bars. That's fucking bars. Humans are so afraid of the void that we can't let what has fallen into it stay there. You bombs. You fucking losers. You think, oh, virtual reality is the future. The hoodie. Yeah, keep disconnecting yourself from a natural life and see what happens. Obviously, you never watched any movie or read any book ever. They fucking tell you what happens, you dummy. Anyways, right now, they only got your energy through thoughts and work. You're literally going to plug your fucking brain into a box? How do you even control that? You're at the mercy of anybody who's programming the box. You want to upload your consciousness into an AI, into a hard drive? To do what? Fucking work at a digital Walmart, you fucking re... <laughs> 
Here's the rest of her thing. <laughs> Here's an idea. How about we give some actual living human comedians a listen to? But if you want to listen to the genuine George Carlin, he has 14 comedy specials that you can find anywhere. R.I.P. George Carlin. Love and respect to Kelly Carlin and the Carlin legacy. That motherfucker with his Malcolm X hat straight up has comedy specials wearing a Malcolm X hat. That nigga was always at the cookouts. And I'm pretty sure it was a black man reincarnated. Reincarnated. <laughs> trying to sound all educated. <laughs> That was a black man reincarnated in a white man's body just here to fuck people's minds up. Because he knew that he couldn't fucking get that information across from a black body. No one would listen back then. But a white guy saying all this shit is like, this man is profound, which he was. I'm not even going to act like he wasn't. Like, I'm talking about how big of an influence he was on my life. Like, he's an influence on my influences. Yeah. You know, he's, mm -hmm. he's MF Doom, nigga. He's your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Yeah. Every comedian who's a real comedian will say George Carlin is one of their top influences. Like Patrice, uh, nigga, everybody. I don't even need to fucking go down the rabbit hole. Like, um, yeah, but what? Like, damn, man. The comedy gods really been blessing us with a lot of comedy news to talk about. Uh, if you're interested in that, watch it. It sounds like Carlin. It it's soulless, man. It's not Carlin. So I mean. You obviously most people won't feel the same way about it as I do. I'm a fucking comic. This is like I know what it is to to give sweat, blood, and tears to to jokes, and it's not a machine, nigga. I am the machine. Fuck your machine. Anyways, that's the comedy recap for this week. Let's get into a segment that we always do here called poll results. Ladies and gentlemen, every Monday on my Instagram social media feed and now on the YouTube community page every week. Thank you, Dante. Uh, we post an interactive poll question. We leave it up. The people vote on it. And then we discuss the results in the studio on a weekly basis. Um, give me two seconds. I got to blow my nose. Now. Give me <laughs> All right. I'm back from doing coke. I mean, blowing my nose. <laughs> I don't do coke. God damn it. Uh, I mean, look how relaxed I am, nigga. I know I go ah! every once in a while, but if you know a nigga that does coke that acts like this, that's one cool ass nigga, bro. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? Thank you for watching this. If you like that, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification button. We got new podcast episodes every Wednesday, comedy clips and segment clips throughout the week. Follow me. I'm AKA Black Zeus on all social media. Dante is person one prod. And, uh, you know, stay beautiful. Peace, peace.